Ladies and gentlemen, WrestleMania 36 Night 1 is over and it was one hell of a show. I loved it and I cannot wait for Night 2. So let's kill some time by continuing the Lemon Cookie TV WrestleMania 36 kickoff show right here with a match between Jello B. Afra and good old Charlie M. Charles Manson in a barbed wire death match. This is the first time ever I'm doing a match like this. A barbed wire death match. Charles Manson and Jello B. Afra. Look at that guy. Look at that physique of Jello B. Afra. Give this man a cheeseburger for crying out loud. And Charlie M. goes after him with that knee drop. To the back. Jello B. Afra raking the eye here. Against. Charles Manson, no ropes in the ring as you can see, this is solid barbed wire instead of ring ropes, body slam here by Charles Manson. Oh, Irish whip gets reversed, oh my god, there's some, I don't know, probably not dynamite but some explosive material attached to these Bob wire strings so every time you hit the barbed wire, bob wire you'll feel a little explosion uppercut here by oh my god what the hell is Jello Biafra doing he's grabbing the balls and penis of Charles Manson the part that hurts the most so Charles Manson he's busted wide open look at the blood on the floor he's losing blood but I don't think he cares But by Biafra, you gotta give Biafra credit as much as I like to trash talk about him. On oh, suplex by Manson. Did not expect to see some fundamental wrestling moves in. Now, Jello Biafra going for the pinfall, only a one count. Manson is bleeding. Oh no, he's standing Biafra into the barbed wire. Look at the blood on his face and his chest. Oh my god, once again. Manson now with a reverse chin lock. Both men. I hope they did an AIDS or hepatitis check before the match. Because they're both bleeding like a stiff pick here in the middle of the ring. Oh, Irish whip gets reversed and once again be up right into the barbed wire. Explosive material gone for the cover. But only a one count. Only a one count. Yeah, the circumstances, the surroundings, the type of match it gets your adrenaline going, gets your gears going. So, a kick out at one or a sidewalk slam by Charles Manson. We are not even. Yeah, now, now we are at the five minute mark. I don't think this match has a time limit, and I don't think we are gonna need. The Irish whip gets reversed now. Charles Manson into the barbed wire. Be up with the arrogant cover. And therefore only a two count. I think if he would have um, yeah, hooked the leg, done a proper cover, he might have won the match. And now Slugfest begins. Manson with those fists to the face. And both men go down. Be after he just slapped his chest. Oh no, that, no, this was a solid right hand. A knockout punch by Biafra. Okay, not really a knockout because Manson is back on his feet now. Hitting a spinning vertical suplex. Oh my god, brain buster. Tornado brain buster. Oh, how should you call that? I thought, oh no. Neck breaker. And despite all this violence here, there's really some fundamental, simple, basic wrestling here that I did not expect to see of these guys. Irish whip reverse once again and Manson into the barbed wire drawbreaker by Jello B. Afra now. Oh my god, trying to make Manson Tower with that unique submission out. I'm not sure if this... Oh look at the blood stain on the floor here. Yeah, Manson once again to the barbed wire. Don't let your children watch this. Don't try this at home! German suplex, a rolling German suplex. Do two. A duo of German suplexes. And once again! And why is Biafra not wearing a t shirt here in this match? I don't know. This is a barbed wire match and he's coming topless. So you see the scars, the blood, the wounds on his upper body. 
a sidewalk slam here by Manson. How long is this gonna take? Irish with once again Manson goes to the barbed wire. Oh my god, uppercut by Jello Biafra as we're getting closer to the 10 minute months again. Oh my god, they do that move so many. Oh no, Manson got for a power bump. Now the, cru cru the razor's edge, crucifix power bump. No, and Biafra kicks out. Now the impaler DDT dropping him on his head, hooking the leg. It's a sit. No. Both men kick out at the last moment. Irish whip by Manson into the barbed wire once again. And again. They do this move all the time, but it doesn't get any less vicious. Now, simple lefts and rights to the face. Sign walks the both men. I don't think there's much left in the tank on any of these men here. And another knockout punch by Jello Biafra. He pulls his opponent. Bam! No! Fingers to the to the eye. But Manson once again with that spinning brain bust. I guess. Oh my god! Plants him skull first into the ground. Maybe he also hit the pop wire and a punch afterward. But the Oh god, back and forth, back and forth. I don't know who's gonna win this match once again. That How do you call that move? I don't know, but Jello Biafra wins the match and the match is over. He just defeated Charles Manson in the WrestleMania 36 kickoff show for the second day. This was a modified reverse chicken wing. 90. 7% and I'm gonna get myself a modified reverse chicken wing right now put some barbecue sauce on it and I will see you as the lemon cookie TV Wrestlemania 36 kickoff show continues <laughs>